Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we've got some information, breaking news, coming out of the funeral for the uh, slain, one of the two slain police officers that were assassinated on the streets of New York City. The funeral that's going on right uh, today, hundreds of police officers outside of the church where the funeral was taking place um, that was being held for their uh, fellow officer who was killed along with his partner in that ambush shooting that turned, they have turned their backs on Mayor uh, de Blasio. As de Blasio got up to speak at the funeral service, these hundreds of police officers outside turned their backs and did not watch him speak. They turned their backs to the big screen TVs outside, the giant TV screens. Following the comments from police union officials who had said Mayor Bill de Blasio contributed to the climate, the climate of mistrust that contributed to the killings of these two New York Police Department's finest. Now, inside Christ's Tabernacle Church in Queens, however, mourners gave de Blasio a polite applause before and after his speech. The mayor said the hearts are citywide are aching ever since this December 20th shooting that left uh, Officer Ramos and his partner Lou dead. Uh, all of this city is grieving, he said, grieving for so many reasons, said Mayor de Blasio. But the most personal is that we've lost such a good man and the family in such pain. Uh, but folks, the pressure that's now building on Mayor de Blasio to either step down, resign as mayor of New York, or make some uh, major concessions and changes to the uh, whether or not he's going to let the protesting go on in the city of New York. Now, former mayor Rudy Giuliani said if he was mayor, there would have been, never would have been these types of protests. He said the protests would have been done in designated areas and he would not have allowed protesters to shut down major highways, interstates, and bridges and to create a climate a climate of confusion and chaos, basically. So uh, this, is, um, this is a long way from being over. I'm telling you, I'm in a lot of prayer for New York City. I really am. And I'm going to be in New York City, you know, in about uh, three weeks. And, I, and I'm really praying that we can have some healing in, in the city. We really need it. And we don't need uh, other individuals chart uh, bringing in uh, more of this. We don't need any animosity coming from different groups, especially outside groups or propagandist groups or lamestream media, for that matter, fueling the fire. Matter of fact, I'm calling for prayer. I think we need prayer. We need prayer and we need prayer. Uh, the death of Eric Gardner was terrible. Uh, and the death of these two police officers was terrible. And we've got to stop and take a look at everything and, and do it in a, a more cooler heads must prevail here. But if, if the media, which I blame, I blame the media for fueling this fire, for throwing gas on this fire, then deranged individuals such as the, the young man that killed these two police officers these guys feed off this, this propaganda. Please, stop it. So be in prayer, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the peace come up over the city, a cooler heads prevail, and a calm. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And help this family that's grieving today and many others throughout the entire nation that are grieving for different reasons for loss of loved ones. And we pray for a calm over New York City, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray one for another. The Lord's coming back soon, folks. We're getting very close.